this in my car of all places simply because I just cannot contain myself on this subject any longer. I consistently see so-called self-labeled moderate Muslims. I see even Christians, Western politicians, apologists, leftists, um, even some conservatives. And above all, I see some of those who are in the Middle East, either fighting Daesh, ISIS, ISIL, whatever you want to call them, or being subject to the brutal Sharia law that they're dishing out. And still, they say that ISIS is not Islamic. They are not following the true Islam. If they were, they wouldn't be killing the innocent. And we know that, you know, I, I, I agree with it. The majority of Muslims are not going around beheading or suicide bombing, raping, kidnapping, um, enslaving, conquering, like Daesh is. But a large minority are doing just that, whether you believe that's 10, 15, or 20 percent. Uh, it's still a very large number, considering the number of Muslims here on earth. So we ask ourselves, who is right? Because we have ISIS consistently telling us that they are the devout followers of Allah and Islam, and they're following the true Islam. And Islam means subjugation and submission, conquest. And then we have the moderates who are saying, no, Islam means peace, and we're following the true Islam, and they're twisting words. What do we do? Who do we believe? Because it's silly to think that you can just believe the minority simply because they're the minority. We all know that the minority has been wrong on occasion, quite a few times. Who do we believe? Well, instead of picking and choosing sides and simply believing because of numbers, we can go straight to the Quran. We have the internet. It's a wonderful thing. We can get every uh, translation through the exact transliteration from Arabic, and we can see every version um, of every scripture, word for word. And then we find that there are 100 scriptures, more than 100, that command by Allah violence, physical violence, towards the unbelievers. Not just in times of war, but at all times, because they refuse to submit to Islam and Sharia law. And we have scriptures like um, 47.4 and 8.12 and Surah in the Quran 9.5 particularly call for brutal, savage, barbaric slaughter by beheading. And then we see a particular scripture that is, I believe, 45-4, don't quote me on that, but it says, not equal to those, not equal are those who sit at home other than the disabled, to those who are the mujahideen, who go out and fight in the cause of Allah. We see exactly what Allah thinks about the moderate, peaceful Muslims who sit at home, although they're able-bodied for jihad, war. He thinks they're hypocrites, sinful, and they're not following the Quran, they're not following his commands. We can look at those scriptures that were not abrogated and that are absolutely um, modeled by Muhammad himself in the Hadith, every single one of the Hadith books agree that he was a beheader, an enslaver, a raper, a kidnapper, and a conquistador. And then we have our answer. And if you don't want to believe that, if you don't want to believe what's written down, for the past 1400 years was modeled by their prophet, their, their main perfect man, and was commanded directly from their God's mouth, then you're just following the majority for convenience.
hoping that they'll slaughter you last and you're part of the problem. So get educated. You don't have to take my word for it. Look up the scriptures that I said. Look up the words that I said. They are directly in the Quran. I'm not splicing scriptures and, and picking, cherry picking uh, specific verses out of it. There are over a hundred that you can choose from if you like. Those are just my favorite.